hi guys welcome back to the episode 153 of smiley king so as you can see Bongi was like will you promise to help him and if it happens she give up on donkey will you promise to help him so as you can see yunji was surprised and was like Bongi. so it happens donji called him ah that same one said it's me when did shaman give you that key was it in some kind of envelope like a bank envelope so as you can see Senwa was surprised and was like bank envelope <laughs> so it happened Senwa was like why are you asking me this you can see and she said do you have the key so she asked Donji guys so Donji told Senwa that I asked you a question first but Senwa told him that no I want to hear you answer first <laughs> And she said, do you have the key? Like, guys, I like how Senwa just changed to a good person now. So Senwa said, you found it in your car, didn't you? So Don G was like, I asked you a question, you know. And he said, was there or wasn't there a bank envelope? So Senwa said, if you won't answer me, I won't answer you. So she said, I'm hanging up. So she hanged up, guys. So she told Dongi that Dongi has the key. I know it. And she said, oh yes, he won't ask me a question about it. And I know he's thinking that it came from a bank safe. So Dongi was like, that means I have to talk to him myself. So he said, thanks. So you can see someone was like, for what? <laughs> because Dongi told her thanks. So then he was like, I know it must not have been easy to help me. So Senwa was like, I'm the one who failed to do what the shaman said. So you have no need to thank me. So she said, and I know it won't be easy to undo everything I've been done. But I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> wow. So then he was surprised. I was like, Senwa. So, so I said, let's go. We have to get the key back from Donji. So you can see Donji was just surprised. Like she had changed, guys. Baby makes woman change, guys. So it happened. Donji was like, that means it come from a bank. So it seems Donji had known that the key come from a bank, guys. So as you can see, he said, she said, if I give up Donji, that she should promise that he, she's going to help donkey that will you promise you will be on his side will you promise me that so bonk asked yunji guy so yunji was like of course <laughs> like seriously what bonji was doing was just making me angry so yunji was like i can give up everything i have for donkey so he can win the at the next shelter meeting so bonji was like fine then do it <laughs> But guys, is Dongi a baby that they are? <laughs> this is really funny, guys. <laughs> so Bong was like, I would tell him myself that you have to keep your word. So it happened. Yonji was surprised that you know that Bong is giving up on Dongi, guys. So as you can see, Dongi was angry to see both of them together. I was like, what's going on? Is this a joke to see Dongi and Sewa together? So he asked, I know we may be divorced. He said, I know we may be divorced. But should you be seen out with Dongi like this? <laughs> Sewa was like, what are you talking about? So Dongi was like, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> he is jealous, guys. So Dongi was like, think what you will. Then he said, I want that key back. So he told Donji guys. So Donji was like, Key, I already told you I don't know what you are talking about. Now get out of my way. So he left, guys. So Donji told Senwa that I have to go after him. And they told Senwa that you should go home. Thanks for everything. So Senwa told Donji that, okay, call me if you find the key. So as you can see, Donji followed don't you guys so to where he was going so it happens miske was begging 
for loan guys that we need a loan you know so they were like we were already taking a huge risk by granting you that we can't give you any more you know so the man told miss kim so miss kim was like which is why i'm willing to put up my house and property on collateral we've done business with each other for 30 years mr joe kept his loyalty even through your difficulties we are asking you for your help this time please so it happens don't it came to like you know so the man said yes this key is that the one that opens the safe so don't you was like is there a way anyone else can can open it by the owner so the man said i'm sorry but the access is given to the owner so don't you say what if he is in coma what do we do then so the man said it can only be opened by someone who has his power of attorney so don't you said like an agent he asks may i know who it is <laughs> why would you know so the man said i'm sorry but we can't tell you so don't you was like what then now am i supposed to find out what's inside the owner is unconscious and we are and we don't know who his agent is should i just stand by and watch there must be some way so i was trying to like tell the man that you know but the man insisted and said i'm sorry so it happens miss kim saw don't you guys it seems they are in the same place guys you know but different office so it happens don't you also came inside guys you know Miss Kim was just surprised, like, what's going on here? Like, what are you doing here, don't you? So it happened, don't you really took the key, guys, you know? He doesn't want Donkey to see the key. So it happens, Donkey told him that, what are you doing here? He has Doji, and he has the person that, did he happen to have a key to his save? So the man said, yes. <laughs> As you can see, but Donji was disappointed and the man tell him, guys. So Miss Kim asked that what was going on. So guys, it happened to him, was telling, asking his mother that, would you be interested on in getting remarried? I won't say no if it does what you want. So the mother said, if there's a man I want to marry, I wouldn't turn him down. So Sam was like, okay, good. So she said, I need to go check something out. So it happens. Mm -hmm. A lady came from nowhere and just meets Mr. That's the chef. I was like, Mr. Ban, chef. So Mr. the chef was like, yes, do I know you? So the lady was like, yes, you give lectures at a local college. And you are the head chef of this hotel. And she was like, do you think you have time for some coffee? So the get the lady was like, I have had a crush on you for the longest time, you know, and she said, you know, she was like conf confessing to him. I was like, I think you are great, you know. So the chef was like, I'm sorry, but I'm in love with someone else. So he left, but the lady drew a guy again and said, Can't you stay for just one hour? So. The chef said, I'm sorry. So it happens that the, you know, it seems they plan it. So Seyong and this lady plan it, guys. So she smiled at Seyong. You can see Seyong, guys. So Seyong went to meet her friend. I was like, good work, good work. You know, so it happens Seyong going to meet the chef and said, okay, I'm going to help you get my mom. Although the chef doesn't know it was a plan, guys. So the chef said, really, do you mean that? So Seung said, why don't we get started right now? And she said, do you think you can come to our house today? So it happens that Miss Kim was in her office and was like, so you are saying Mr. Cho left with a key to a safe before he lost consciousness. So it happens, Dongi said yes. And Dongi said, the key should have come to me, but Dongi stole it from me. <laughs> So Miss Kim was surprised and was like, is this true? So as you can see, she has. So Donkey said, I want it back. So so he told Donji guys and he said, I have to, to know what my grandfather wanted me to see. So as you can see, Donji was like, why? Why should I give you that key? 
so don't get shattered and said he left me with, with the key and some last words he talked of the wise rabbit and his thick calves so miss kim said that's the saying about the wise rabbit who dig the caves for the time of crisis so it's apples donkey said yes grandpa knew that crisis was going to come and that's why he wanted me to have the key to get out of the crisis donji the hotel is the big is in the biggest crisis now i need the key now i don't want any more games so don't you shout it and say games does this look like joke to you we don't know what's inside that safe and don't you say why should i give you the key <laughs> Seriously. and he said what kind of idiots would give his enemy a weapon <laughs> and he said besides it won't matter even if I give him the key because we don't know who the legal agent is. So he said the bank told me only Mr. Cho legal agent can open it. So he asked his mother that is she the one. So the mother said no that she's not the legal agent. Then Mr. Cho, he said Mr. Cho is unconscious and we can't find his legal agent. That means no one can open the safe. As you can see, he said that I have no reason to give you the key. So don't get told Donji that what if I were to find the legal agent? So it happens that Donji said I will give you the key then. So it happens Donji asks and Miss Kim and said do you know who it might be? But Miss Kim was like I don't know. You know so as you can see guys. He left guys so it happens donkey went to meet donji and told him that promise me if i found the legal agent that is going to give him the key that you have to give me the key so it happens donji told donkey that do you think that's possible and he said so it happens donkey said that's why i said if so it happens donji said but no company Ed would give his power over Tony to someone else. To be an owner is to lead a lonely life. That means you can't trust anyone. So don't you tell Dongi that Mr. Cho thought of my mom as his own daughter. If it's not her, who do you suppose he could have chosen? There's no legal agent, I know it. So he angrily left, guys. So as you can see, Mr. Kim was, you know, it seems something is wrong with him, guys. So he, they were like, tell him, are you okay? He said, no, I'm fine. So as you can see, they asked him that you should see a doctor, this and that. So he said, no, I'll be fine. You can leave. So he told the secretary that he can leave. So he called the doctor and said, do you think I can go through a physical? So as you can see, Dongi came to meet Punk, you know. Surprised Bung and said, Guess who? And told Bung that are you crying? Bung was just thinking about what you just said, guys. And she was like, Yes, you press on my eyes to add social light, guys. So then he was like, I'm sorry. So it happens, they hug each other and was like, It seems I'm saying less of you now that we are married. So, guys, it happened, he said, Don't say that. I'm the one we saw. Yeah, I can't be more of help. So Bong told him, mm-hmm. and she said, "But Yunji said she's going to help you. She promised." So it happens that it happens that Dongi was like, "Really?" So Bong said, "Yes." She said she would take your side at the shelter meeting. So as you can see, Dongi was happy. He was like, "That was great," but Dongi doesn't know what's going on, guys. And he said. I was worried that she was going to calm down. So as you can see, Bong was like, you is a good woman and she's someone you need right now. <laughs> so Bongi doesn't even know what's going on. Bongi was like, what happened last night? You don't sound well. So it happens that Dayun sent message to Senu guys and said, remember the truth with wins in the head and you need to stop what you are doing now like have you eating lunch you know just trying to like tell him some give him some word guys but then was like saying he is not even responding to my test 
as you can see guys Zeno came to meet Bone guys then he ran out so Bone sees him and said oh pa oh pa said are you two here to see me so as you can see Zeno so Bong said why are you running away so Zeno said I'm not running away and he told Bong that I came to see how you are doing then he said now that I've seen you I was going to leave so it happens Bong was like why did you do that with Donji no like you have to come back to us hmm. So as you can see, Seno was like Bongi. So she, Bongi said, you have to do it for Donki. No, for this hotel, you have to do it for yourself. Hmm. Oh, so as you can see, he said, please, I'm asking you. Please, you can see how Bongi was begging, guys, pleading him. Hmm. I think Seno is going to change. So as you can see, Donki was talking about the safe to Miss Cho and was like, Yes, is there anything you know about a bank safe? I think Grandpa gave his power over Tony to someone so he can help him in case of an emergency. I was wondering if that might be you, but Mr. was like, No, I've never heard of this before. Mm. And Donkey was like, It's not you. And he was wondering, like, Who would that be? You know, like, do you know who it might be? So he has his grandma guy. So Michelle was like, after me, I shook is the closest person to him. So Dougie was like, it's not her, I already have that I have to find that person. And Dungi was like, if I don't do they might be in a lot of danger. So he suppose Mr. was like, What about John? That's Mr. Kim guys. So Anna was like, what up, like, you should ask June, you know. So as you can see, Dongi was surprised and was like, Mr. Kim. So it happens that someone called Miss Kim. I was like, what? An employees in, our employees in Nanya are on strike, you know, they are going on strike, you know, just because of they are not paying them their wages. <laughs> So she said, fine, I will fly to Anna right now. So Donji and I was like, and I would... So he had his mom talking, guys. As you can see, Donji was like, is there a problem in Anna? So his mom was like, they had the rumors about them might be in trouble. And the employees are threatening to leave. So she was just talking and she said, if we don't pay them, they are dues that the employee had trying threatening to leave so Donji was like are you going there yourself and they said you said you will put me in charge of Anna <laughs> why don't you trust me so you can see Miss Kim was like no but now is not the time to argue about that so Donji was like are you sure you don't know who it is like the person in the person in charge of the agents guys so it was like it must be someone who has ties to the hotel and it has to be someone who Mr. that true trust so it was like what if his dad you can see guys don't you oh, guys i think both of them have this brain this unique brain guys that's mr kim should <laughs> they have this brain but you know don't brain it just because donkey is the elder so he's the first to know guys <laughs> this is, i really love the connection guys so it happens mr Cho, mr kim went to do the physical but i think he's sick guys but i don't know but he's trying like i did from some things from them i said he came to visit someone and asked what are you doing here did something happened to the shaman so, you know they were like and I was like, there was a noise coming out of the machine. <laughs> the doctor asked us to leave. <laughs> oh my god. Anna is good in playing the role of a child, guys. So it happens, Dongi has that. Did you know Gapa had a bank safe? So Mr. Kim said, Bank safe? Hmm, guys. 
so it was surprised and i was like yes at general bank so it happens donkey was surprised like do you know about that about it you know he was really surprised guys and he asked are you his legal agent so is that what mr kim said yes that's me oh my god donkey was really really surprised guys so mr kim was like how did you find out you know so donkey was just surprised guys so it happens the hf came was trying to like cook for his mom guys because they're having some guests you know so they were like so saying was like a friend will come you can help her out being a little app you can see so he was cooking guys he was cooking so he prepared everything everything was beautiful you know he's a chef so the mom came guys so so you know it happens the edge of was like trying to like test him to taste the food so they said was like wow it's nice it's yummy you know so the mom was like i did my best i could so, so it happens the mom came so was like that's my mom so the chef was about to like hide in the compound guy <laughs> so i said no 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 so he had to like hide under the table guys as you can see it's under the table the dining table so the mom came guys so the mom was like say young like what are you doing here like you know she was really surprised to see the feast guys and she was like you said you had a reunion so i thought i might help you so she asked her daughter that did you cook all this so the daughter said no of course not so so she told her mom to taste the food i should try some of the food guys so the mother was like oh it's so good so you can see the chef was just smiling like you know he's really blushing so so my mother was like oh that it's look at i wish i can eat every eat this every day of my life <laughs> so you can see the chef the chef was blushing under the table guys so as you can see Mr. was surprised that so you have my husband power of attorney so Miss, Mr. Kim said yes he took me to the bank 10 years ago and he asked me to be his leg at him wow wow so guys and they were surprised and I was like and do you know what's inside so Mr. Cho asked but Mr. Kim said no I'm afraid I don't die he doesn't know it so then he was like grandpa kept something in the safe so he could help the hotel and that's why he asked him what to give me the key so Mr. Kim said let's go to the bank but it happens then he said so you know that we'll find out what's there in the safe so but it happens then he, he was like I don't have the key right now the <laughs> don't <Dungy> has it <laughs> so Mr. Kim was so fast I was like you know it was really surprised and i was like what why would don't you have it but you know donkey doesn't tell him just said things got a little messed up hmm. so guys as you can see they were just happy i was like he promised he will give me if i bring the legal team the legal agent sorry guys so you can see Mr. was just begging and was like we need to know what's inside the bank safe like james should help them you know like they should go guys so as you can see guys they had to leave so so mister was like please hurry they should go so it happened they left guys so they were in the car it was like telling donkey that drive safe drive safely you know so he held the donkey hand guys oh my god so donkey was you know just look at the hands guys so they were trying to like call the father like isn't that here yet you know so miss miss kim said he's already on his way that he's coming to the office so the dad came guys so they just said dad i will go straight to the point and he asked are you mr Trulega agent do you know about his safe so mr kim said yes <laughs> guys he said yes so you know Donji was surprised, which Miss Kim was also surprised, like, was that it did, you know. So he said, will you come with, with me to the bank? <laughs> Donji isn't serious. Look at the way he said it. You have to open that safe. So Donji came and said, but first, you have to give me the key. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, so important. <laughs>
And he said, you say you will give me the key if I bring the, you the agent. So Miss Kim said, to Don G to give him the key that the Mr. Cho wanted to give Don G to have the key. You can see, as you can see, it happens. They told him to give Don G the key, guys. So Don G and his father went to the bank, guys. So they had to check some papers and they see that. He was the one that Mr. Kim was the right agent, like he had the right person. So they have to like go take him there to the safe guy. Oh guys, I really love this part, guys. Oh my god, it's really really good to trust someone with you, you know. So they had to go, guys. They are going there, Dongi and his father. So they were not saying what what Mr. Cho was saying that so you can turn so they have in case of emergency this scene was really really emotional guys the way mr cho was saying it to donkey that's why they were like saying it i said that means you we have nowhere to turn in case of trouble you know like mr cho was the one talking guys you know the advice mr cho give what the word mr cho gave to donkey guys so it's after donkey give the key to his father so the father opened his safe, guys, and they were surprised to see some things there, but guys, I don't know what they see, guys. So that's all for today, guys, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye, guys.